Hi everybody, here a short Python tutorial on how to create the matrix rain effect. Okay, let's start in Cinema 4D. First of all, this is where you can download uh, the font. So what we do um, is create various columns and make the characters go from up to down. To do so, I use a text object and we're going to fill them with uh, the separate characters. Let me show you. You see, per frame, one character is added. And that's added until the de predefined number of uh, rows, I must say, yeah. And then it's changed from the beginning. So once again, initially we're going to fill up uh, the screen, starting with a user-defined uh, frame number. And then when the screen is completely filled, we're going to change the characters one by one. So again, fill the screen and then change the characters randomly. So this is just one column and then later on you're going to define uh, multiple columns. So once again we're going to define a text character or a text object which you're going to fill with Python. But first of all we're going to define some user data and the user data is uh, for each column the start frame and the number of rows. So this one means it starts at frame 5 and the number of rows is 10. So 10 characters per, uh, per screen. Then we're going to the, the Python editor and here's the code itself, it's not so difficult. Um, first of all, we're going to get the frame, the frame, uh, and then we're going to get the object, which is connected to this tag. Op in this case is the tag itself, so in this case the Python tag, and the object of object dot get object uh, results in the related or the object which the tag belongs to. So in this case, the text object. Then we're going to get the start frame and the number of rows. And initially I'm going to, uh, for frame null, um, I'm going to clear out the text object. Here you can see it's filled. And when we go to frame zero, the text is cleared out. And then we're going to fill the screen initially. And that is, uh, we start at the starting frame Again, define the user data start frame, and we do that for the number of rows. So when the frame is uh, larger than the start frame and lower than start frame plus the number of rows, just create a random character, a small capital. So uh, the ASCII value is 79 between 123. And because here, we're going to add, uh, we say, we tell the system to use the matrix code font. It will uh, print out or show the matrix font. So once again, it starts at frame five. I'll show you this way. It starts again at frame five. Then we're going to fill the screen till 15. And then we're going to change the characters randomly. What I also do to get uh, to go to the next line, we're going to add a slash n. That's a carriage return a line feed. And that doing it that way, it will give you one character and then to the next line and so on and so on. So when the frame is larger than the start frame plus the number of rows, we know the whole screen is filled. And then we're going to change 
or add uh, characters randomly. And here you see, I, I calculate the character randomly again between uh, 79 and 123. That will give you the small uh, A till Z. And again, in the matrix font, it will show you these characters. Because strings are immutable, you cannot create them when they uh, once created. We do it by this way. We use uh, um, the Python feature to split up text and recombine them again. So this is also, this is only for one, one column. And now, of course, we're going to add some other columns. And here you see them. This is the first row, the second. And uh, I made some space between it just to, yeah, that's also done within the matrix uh, range. So uh, that's how we do it. And it's all the same. We all use the same Python code, but again, with user of different user data. The number of rows is the same for all of them, but the starting frame is different. So you can see it's 10 and uh, just play with it. The starting frame is different. And this way, the whole screen is built up differently. Let's show here, these are the same. Again, depending on the starting frame, the column is getting built up, yes or no. And once the screen is filled with for that column, we're going to change uh, the characters randomly. And to make it uh, a bit more interesting, I've added some uh, blur to the whole screen. That is done by using the physical renderer and define a very low f-stop. Normal it's uh, 16 and then everything is sharp, uh, the foreground and background. But when you go lower and lower, in this case the 0 0.1, it gets blurred. It also uses a focal, a focus. Um, let me show how it is, yeah. The focus object, so uh, the system will focus on this object and everything before or behind it will be out of focus because of the, the small f-stop. I show you here is the focus itself is behind uh, the screen. So this one should be uh, sharp, but again, because it's behind, you don't see it. And let me show you. Here you can see it's already a blurring out the characters. I also added a small glow to the characters and I used this color 38, 128 and uh, 94. Okay, uh, thanks for listening. I hope you learned something and again if you have any questions please let me know.